Good evening. We're going to give a quick lesson on how to turn the charge function off in your inverter so that it was, doesn't charge your Ecotrek batteries, which especially in very cold weather, you don't want it to do. Um, so this is a pretty easy operation. Let's first look at the screen. This is a micro green screen, a green uh, inverter. And so I see that it's got a circle with a sine wave. The power is coming out of that shore power. Coming out through the bypass, I can see the bypass is enabled because it says bypass enable over here. And that power is going to the sockets inside the active. Out of that same sine wave with a circle is the inversion, which is going over and charging the batteries right now. Um, and so I want to change that. So I'm going to go into program mode. This is the normal display. So there are four buttons down here. Select with an arrow left and right, select with an up and down arrow, confirm, and silent. So if above the two select buttons, there's a word called function. And what that means is if I hold both buttons at the same time and wait for the beep, I now am in program mode. And we see that I can program the voltage. 120 volts is what it expects right now, and that is correct. I don't want to change that. It's expecting 60 hertz. It's going to charge at 28 amps, which is what I always keep ours at because I'm patient on the charging and I want to keep the inverter cool. Uh, the input tolerance is set to normal, should always be there, and I'm currently set up for a B1 battery. Um, so, I want to change this. So right now I see that volts is blinking. Yours will start blinking wherever it wants. It's wherever it was last time. But I'm going to press the select left right button and it's now the Hertz is blinking, but I don't want to change the Hertz. So I'm going to press select again. Now the charge, uh, max charge current is blinking. It's set at 28 amps. I want to keep it there. So I'm going to move on. Moving on. The input tolerance is set to normal. I'm going to leave it there. And now finally the battery type B1 is blinking and that's what I want to change. This is currently set to B1 which is the correct value for all, um, all actives with uh, Ecotrek batteries. And I want to change it to off and so I'm going to press the up down select arrow. It's going to beep and change to 2. Beep and change to B3. Beep and change to B4. B8. And finally I get around to off. That's what I want. The third button says confirm. I'm going to press confirm. And I've now changed that value. You'll notice the screen now is still coming from shore power through the bypass switch over to the socket, but it's no longer charging the battery. That's what we want. So that's how you do it. Enjoy.